What is up everyone? I am the winner and welcome to our game room. Today we're going to take a look at the game that came in ranked 21st in my top 123 games of all time. Today's game is somehow new to the list. Now when I saw that it was new to the list, I was a little confused. I need to actually look back in my records to see if somehow last year I missed it. Because this should have been on my list last year if it wasn't. So maybe I had it Un, like I didn't have it marked as owned on BGG or something so when I did the pub meeple uh, ranking engine thing maybe it didn't come through and I missed it uh, I'm really confused how this could have been new to the list but I've been loving this game since the day it released uh, this is by Arcane Wonders and Cosmodrome and it's a Dice Tower Essential the game is Aquatica man this game has grabbed me and not let go I cannot stop playing this game. I bring it to almost every game day. I will teach it to whoever wants to be taught it. I don't know what it is about this game. I think it's just the combos that you can have. You can have a simple turn of do this one thing and then all of a sudden bink, 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 bink and it just causes 10 things to happen in one turn. And somehow that just is something that makes me happy, I guess. Um, in Aquatica, you're actually like an underground or underwater rather. Uh, society and you're trying to like visit different places and gain different types of cards and score in different ways there's like well I, we have the cold waters expansion which is something that i don't generally play without now too it changes the way the in-game scoring works in a much more interesting way than just hey look oh look i did this i get some points hey look i did this i get some points this the, the new way actually has a, a set of cards out that you can claim, and as you claim them, they'll give you powers and stuff, which is awesome. Um, in this game, uh, there's a you're you're buying cards with either gold or you're fighting them, so you're conquering different locations. When you conquer a location, they all go on your board. Now, the thing with your player board is there's five lanes. Uh, your card slides up underneath, so as you go further and further deeper in that location, that's signified by the fact the card is going further up your board and there's little bubbles on the side that give you different powers which is awesome because some of them goes oh you get to put other cards up because there's blank bubbles too that you can't move that card up anymore unless you have another card that lets you move it so you can go oh look i'm going to move a card up move that card up which has another power that you get to activate activate it which activates this power and it just goes nuts and i it just makes me happy every time i play this game it's not a tough game. It takes an hour to play. You can play it one to four players. Um, man, this game is so solid. Uh, there's these there's these plastic manta rays, which are su super overproduced. They could have been chits. They literally could have just been little chits. But they went above and beyond and made all these manta rays that show one side the ability they have. You flip them, and then it goes, oh, okay, look, I... I, I use my power now, whatever power it has. And then it's like, uh, it's kind of Citadels-ish ish, or Mission Red Planet where you have a handful of cards and you're playing down rolls and that roll tells you what you're going to do for the round. And then, of course, there's one that says, oh, look, you pick up all those cards and you flip your mantas all over so they're, they're usable again. Um, I, I mean, this game just, it does everything I want a game to do in a, like, shorter time period game. If you're like at a game day and you just got done playing Nemesis, which is a six hour game, a uh, four to six hour game, and then you're like, okay, before I get into like my three hour game of Ark Nova, I kind of want a palette cleanser or something kind of small. This just fits perfectly in that, in that time frame where just something that makes your brain happy without having to think too hard about it. This game really is something, if you haven't tried it, you should definitely give it a try. Uh, it's not expensive. It's in print. So definitely give Seek Aquatica out and give it a try. It's a very, very solid game that just makes your brain tingle with happiness. Uh, so that's my number 21, Aquatica from Cosmodrone and Arcade Wonders. Uh, come back tomorrow. We'll see you at number 20 is in my top 123 games of all time. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep playing and keep winning.